In this video, we'll be looking into deterministic and non-deterministic PDAs. So firstly, PDA can be classified as deterministic PDA and non-deterministic PDA. So we'll look into a PDA is said to be deterministic PDA if transition of Q A and A is uniquely defined by each state which belongs to Q and A should belong to the tau and the small a should be a alphabet. So you can say that transition of Q A epsilon is defined and transition of Q A is undefined. for all alphabets that belong to Z or all A that belongs to Z. So this is, if this condition is satisfied then that PDA is said to be the deterministic PDA. Let's consider an example for transition of QS lambda I have Q and lambda transition of QS A I have QS B and transition of QBB B, I have Q and lambda. Let's take this as example 1. Let's take example 2. Transition of Q S A. I have Q and B. Transition of Q S A. I have Q and S B. Transition of Q B and B. I get Q comma lambda. So if you look at the first example, they are uniquely defined, right? So transition of Q S and lambda, it's not the same in uh, any of the transitions here. So we can say that this particular example is deterministic PDA. And if you look at here QSA, QSA. So for one transition, there are two possibilities, right? These two. So we can combine it and write transition of QS and small a we can get inside the curly braces. We can write Q comma B and Q comma SB. So when the PDA, when the transition functions are same, so for one given transition functions, there are more than one values here. So in this case, it is said to be non-deterministic PDA. Okay. So, yeah, so this was the example. We need to remember that uh, the language accepted by PDA is deterministic context free grammar. So we, we should know that deterministic PDA are less powerful than non deterministic PDAs. But non deterministic PDAs are the generalization of deterministic PDAs. So that is every deterministic PDA can be simulated by non-deterministic PDA but it is not the same in vice versa condition. So um, here deterministic PDA accepts only proper subset, subset of context free language that is uh, LL grammar. But when we talk about non-deterministic PDA, it can accept any context free language. So it is more powerful. So this was about deterministic and non-deterministic PDA. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.